What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. All right. Saints Cardinals tomorrow. Looking like the starters are going to play. Okay, they were doing all the walkthroughs and everything. Last year, Dennis Allen played the starters in week one. Didn't really play him after that. Um, actually, go ahead. Here's Derek Carr on working in a, a new coordinator, new system, on why he thinks it's kind of important to play in this preseason. No, no, not, not, not yet. Oh, the well, main thing for me, I say it this way, is reps. you got to get reps. you got to say it. you got to see it. you got to do it. you got to draw it. you got to do all that kind of stuff. And so I do a little drill every night before I go to bed on that stuff that I need to go on that day. And I've been doing it since the offseason. And then I come out to practice, and I run through the practice beforehand. So what was practice 13? So for me, it's practice 26. You know, like I, I just more reps, more more intention. You know, come out to walk through. I'm working on other stuff. When we don't have to be doing anything, we're I'm working on a different part of our offense just so I'm getting all those reps. And I feel like we can put on a piece of paper, okay, this is the reps we're going to get. And you kind of trust in that as a player. But the reality is, is we need to be farther ahead. And so that's just some of the ways that I've been trying to do it this year that maybe have been a little different than my past. Yeah, you know who <laughs> never quit two a days? Derek Carr. Okay, practice 26. Uh, but yeah, no, look, Carr it sounds like when I try to talk to my wife and let her know I did the dishes, took out the trash, like all the things that I did, I let her know. So, well, look, I, just... well, I mean, the point of that though, makes sense, right? It's not to say that you like are accusing your wife of not doing anything. Obviously it's not the case, but it is saying like, give me a little credit here. You That's know? what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Recognize. Hey, I did the dishes. I took out the trash. Yeah. And, like, I'm yeah, putting in that I do work that every day. I'm helping out here. He's yeah. supposed to be putting in that work. Or even he is well, 26 Derek. practices. Yeah, so he went out there for two hours before practice? Yeah, he, re- he ran through all the practice. Why is he not I'm trying to think. I know of guys who, uh, hmm, whatever. Uh, that I thought that answer was a, a, a bit of a different one. Uh, it doesn't look like it's on the sheet, but he did also talk about the importance of hearing Clint in his ears, in the helmet, just subbing in and out, not showing anything but basically using this as a uh, dry run for like operation stuff for a first team offense that's going to be new. So I think you will see the starters a bit this weekend. Uh what are y'all most looking forward to? I got I got I got three big things that I really want to see. Uh obviously we kind of touched on one yesterday, right? Backup quarterback. Even yesterday when the first team offense got their ass beat in, uh the second team offense and third team offense are actually pretty solid. And uh, Rattlers with the twos yesterday. Hayner with the threes. Both them very, very sharp yesterday. I want to see uh, Taysom Hill at fullback. Yeah. That's what I want to see. But, like, do, but like w- w- from, from a preseason standpoint, yes. do you think you'll see enough there to interest you? Because it feels like they maybe wouldn't want to play him too much or show too much. If you don't, then you're doing Taysom a disservice. Mm. Because that's going to be his opportunity with, you know, live competition against somebody else, live bullets to go show that he can do what Kyle Juszczyk does for the 49ers. And if you don't, if you're like, hey, we got to save it, we can't do that, then you're doing the player a disservice. He's got to be able to go in there and get live game reps if he's changing positions. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, that's, that's, a, that's a very fair argument. All right, so that's one of uh, your top three. Uh, Alondra Taylor, where are you all at? What are you all watching tomorrow? I'm going uh, running game as a whole, like the running scheme under Clint Kubiak. How similar is it going to be to Shanahan? What wrinkles of his own is he going to throw in there? That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I want, and I wonder, I wonder how, uh, I wonder how much. Again, I, I wonder how much scheme they will show. Uh, I mean, you got to run the offense, obviously, but you still probably keep it pretty base within that. Um, what about you, Alondra? Anything piquing your interest for the Saints game? Yeah, pretty much Clint Kubiak. Seeing the new run, the new Coops. offense. Yeah. Uh, so I really obviously look, I, I think that watching the backup quarterback battle is going to be very entertaining. Uh, I, I mean, you got to watch the offensive line, right? Because every day now, all we're reading is practice reports and we're dealing with the internal camp paradox of like, does this mean that Chase Young is awesome or yeah. does the O-line just suck, right? So like, how does Trevor Penning do uh, in action against, because uh, I think he'll play a lot. I think I, th- I think like that's a player that you could actually that you need to work a little bit here. I don't think Penning gets a light day here. Uh, so I want to see how Trevor Penny looks at right tackle. Obviously, Taliesi Fuanga at left tackle could use the reps as well. Yeah, same situation as Taysom Hill. 
They're yeah, playing true. new positions. Now, they've probably played them in their career, but it hasn't been within the last year. No. So you need to go out there. You need to get live reps against live competition. I don't know how the other team's going to handle the situation. I told you, I've been in a preseason game where we we were at the bomb squad and the Vikings had their ones, and it was like, oh, this is this is fun for three quarters. So everybody handles it different. But even if it is a bomb squad, it is still live competition against somebody else and you need all the reps. Uh speaking of Trevor Penning, I agree and I think I think I think you could have Penning in there with the ones, you could have him in there with the twos as well if you wanted to. Here is uh Dennis Allen on Trevor Penning heading in to the first preseason game. I mean, I think he's made some improvement. I think there's still a ways to go for him, Ooh. but I think he's made some improvement in particular Ooh. in the run game. I think there's still still some areas in the passing game that that you know, we got to get shored up a little bit. And, and look, I think he's getting challenged every day. I think I think our ends present a pretty good challenge for him. So I'm encouraged by where the direction that he's that he's heading. But yet, I'm not ready to to sign off on it quite yet. Not quite ready to sign off. It does uh, not appear like Trevor Penning is taking the strides that we wanted to see. Uh, so much that yesterday, uh, to end one team period, Jake. The right side of the line gave up three sacks in a row to Chase Young. And that's something that Trevor Penning had trouble with last year is letting one bad play turn into two, turn into three. Yep. And at times, he almost felt like a, a punch-drunk fighter, right, where you ate a couple of big shots, and then if it was a fight, you would have called it. You would have TKO'd. Yep. I mean, and he did get TKO'd. I mean, he got taken out of games because he literally couldn't win any reps. I mean, at O-line, even if you lose two of ten, you're getting your ass kicked. But we're talking about him losing at times last year, like four or five. So I don't love hearing that basically he had one of those days yesterday. Also, that quote from Dennis Allen basically telling you there's not been nearly as much improvement as they would have wanted. So you got to watch Trevor Penning against the Cardinals this Saturday. Can we teach him one snap and clear? I get, I mean, so is it, a, you know, I like I just said, like he's letting one bad play turn to multiple, but like, what if you're just not good enough? <laughs> it's true. You know? Like, you can't just win because your your mental's right. You can be present, but if you're not good enough, you're just not good enough. And that's that's the that's the scariest place to be as an athlete when you start to realize that. And that's the mental battle that Trevor Penning's trying to have to fight. Um, and it's odd because physically he should be good enough, right? But something is going wrong where he just can't find it. Uh, now, I do think that Chase Young is set for a big year. I don't think he's going to look as good as he has in this training camp. But, like, I think Penny will have some easier days than the, one that he's ha- than the ones that he's having against Chase Young right now, so it's making him better. But it still sounds, it sounds like he's just so far behind the eight ball. Who starts more games for the Saints, Landon Young or Trevor Penny? Um, hmm. I mean, I get, I don't know. It might be a prisoner of the moment if I say young. They've still been repping Penning constantly with the ones. So, I, I mean, they they really want Penning to work. They really kind of need Penning to work. But uh, you heard Dennis Allen say it straight up. He's not quite ready to sign off yet. So, maybe if this preseason game goes disastrously, disastrously you start to see Landon Young get some of those one reps. I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. It's a tough question and, to answer right now. And I'm still surprised that Trevor Penning – isn't a guard right now. Yeah, I agree. I'm just Not surprised really he's having so much trouble in the run game as well. Yeah. Like that, 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 that's crazy. But I don't know. Uh, good luck, Kubiak, trying to scheme with a tackle when it doesn't seem like you get any. And those protection. coaches, uh, those coaches, just from hearing Dennis Allen, they've got major questions. Like that, that sound is is one of a coach that didn't want to throw a player under the bus, but does not feel confident. At all. No, he's player. keeping and he's keeping it kind of real with him with like, you know, I haven't seen as much as you'd hope and not ready to sign off yet. But yeah, it's not going full. Uh because I mean, look, what we kind of know of Penning outside looking in, he seems like someone who maybe needs a little more encouragement in terms of uh maybe the coaching style that's gonna that's gonna speak to him. But uh I don't know that for sure. Maybe I'm reading too much into things. Here is Matthew Paris's uh Saints Day thirteen camp. Review. Uh, real, real sloppy practice for the first team offense. Derek Carr appeared frustrated. 
Injuries came at a bad time for those needing a big preseason to make the team. Mason Tipton not out here today. Neither was wide receiver Stanley Morgan. Saints went through a lengthy walkthrough prior to practice. The starters are in. Does this mean they'll play Saturday? Again, I think it will. Uh, New Orleans did work red zone, and the first series was rough. Ole Udo at left guard appeared to let up a few pressures. Granderson bulldozed pinning. Peyton Turner just wrecked the second unit. By the way, Peyton Turner, something I'm excited to watch. Against like he said it yesterday. Defensively, I don't have much that I'm not sure about. I know the secondary is going to be great. Seems like the linebackers. I mean, Pete Warner just getting extended yesterday. Demario Davis, Willie Gay, uh, really good reports there. Like it seems like lines going to, linebackers are going to be great. Chase Young's kicking ass. Really excited for the Jordan Young Granderson trio. Brzee year two. So, like, in a weird way, Peyton Turner is the most interesting part of this defense to me because it seems like he finally has a pulse if he can stay healthy. Uh, despite the first team struggles, I thought Jake Hayner and Spencer Rattler had a great series in those drills. Rattler went with the twos, Hayner with the threes. Uh, backed up at the goal line, Spencer Rattler had a beautiful ball to Kevin Austin Jr. for 40-plus yards. Trevor Penny got into a fight with Willie Gay, very animated, fists involved. Shepard and others rushed in, try to break it up. Um, so, again, the, the story of yesterday is the first team offense just got absolutely demolished. And it was mainly with pressure, which is literally the exact <laughs> thing that you most fear with this Saints offense. It certainly is. And it is something you won't really find out in the preseason. You won't see anything. You might see, like, a mic fire. Or maybe you'll see a, a strong dog. You're not going to see anything crazy, though. Yeah, no. As far as pressure. Uh, no. No. So, exactly. So, like, you should be able to handle it, and right? There's going to be just a lot of just five on four, five on five type of stuff here. And if you don't, that's when you really, really start to get worried. Yeah, I agree. If you're giving up a ton of pressures and just base level looks, uh, because look, not even Tom Brady could operate if the other team can get pressure with that front four. Which is, to give you an idea of how hard it is in the NFL, I, I, I was trying to think of a great analogy. I don't know that I ever land on one, but I was thinking about this when I was driving the other day. Like Everybody used to be like, you know, the key to beating Brady is getting pressure with the front four. I'm like, okay, that's like saying, you know, the key to making the NBA is being seven feet tall. Like, it just doesn't, like, duh, <laughs> but nobody can. That's why those guys are so highly paid. That's why those Giants teams won Super Bowls. Like, you just can't. So if if you're the team giving that up to just a, I mean Arizona. I actually don't know much about Arizona's D line. Jake, where 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 would they rank in the league? They're not high. Just whatever. Okay. So if that D line is getting pressured for it, then we got some major major red flags to yeah. uh, to watch out for. So I'm watching backup cues. I'm watching the O line, and I'm watching Peyton Turner, baby, this Saturday, Saints Cardinals. Let's go. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.